Sorry, I got like 10 minutes and I gotta get out of here. I my orientation. Whew, I need a cup of coffee. I'm gonna get the going. Day at CP. As far as I know, I'll actually be enrolling for my first class. I have done my own research for Central Piedmont. One of the very first classes you're gonna have to take is called Writing and Inquiry 111. I'm not really intimidated by writing classes. We finish this poisonous, wicked habit of mine, and then we're gonna head out of here. All right. Got my notepad, my water, my coffee, and we're off to orientation. You must be registered for classes for current or upcoming semester to get a new ID card, and you can get your student ID card at any Central Piedmont campus, regardless of where your classes are. Anyway, so orientation was pretty quick, pretty simple. Uh, it didn't last the whole time that I thought it was. It was supposed to be from nine to 11. It ended in 30 minutes. There's nothing wrong with that. I can say that the majority of this stuff that you're gonna have to know, it's really just making sure that you can sign in to your watermark, your My College login. I have to go and make sure that I can get my student ID taken still. I have to set up a meeting with my academic advisor. That was the most important thing I took from today, was you definitely have to set up a meeting with your advisor. So that's what I'm gonna do today. That went pretty well, um, very fast. I feel like there's something else that I'm missing. I really do. I already had enrolled into CPCC last year. I just never followed through with it. I was going for psychology, but I uh, changed my mind and picked a career. So I kind of I kind of had a leg up and I already knew what I was supposed to do. Pretty much everything in orientation I had already completed. But I've never been to the Cato campus. This place is beautiful. It's not like Central Campus or Levine, but it's a nice campus. This one I think is the business center. If you're getting ready for orientation, check your student emails. Make sure you've got your bright space set up, your My College, and your watermark. All those logins need to be set up, ready to go. If you're an adult like me, you probably won't need to send your transcript. I did have a particular situation where I ended up sending my transcript. Uh, I kind of just read what I was supposed to do and did it. And I'm 33 and the school that I graduated from doesn't exist. So you got your GED, just send them that. I did learn about this thing called enrollment verification activity. For every single class, you're gonna have to do this, which I did not know. At this point, I need to set up a meeting with my advisor and I need to start enrolling in my classes. Orientation down. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, have a blessed one.